Arsenal don't win it again this year, would it be classified as a bottle job again? No. No, not in this no, not, not in, in this, this uh, current this is a title race. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's we, tight, were, we were way ahead at that particular time last year. Do you know what I'm uh, seeing with Arsenal? We're consistent. We're in the title race for the last two years, so we're moving. We're doing we're doing well. Okay. Would you how do you see the game then? I oh. think Arsenal are gonna win two one, especially if those injuries that City have got are true. And I actually will second that. I think if the injuries which is supposedly coming out of City I actually think Arsenal can go there and not lose. Okay. I'm, going to, I'm going to the game as well, so That's okay, okay, <laughs> we're gonna win. Okay, I, I, so I, what I, section are you gonna be in? Don't worry, don't worry, <laughs> <laughs> don't worry. I'll send okay. you a lot of videos and pictures. Up there eating prawn yeah. sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. I, 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 I'll piggyback on that. If it's, it's, it's a case where Arsenal just needs to go there and not lose, but to win, it's gonna be difficult, man. We ain't won there in a yeah, very, yeah, very long be, time. Yeah, so yeah I think. But I think we're confident, playing well. Yeah, if yeah. If Walker's yeah. fit, a strong team. I think if Walker's fit, I think Man City win it. You base it just on Walker. Yeah, I think he's defensively. He's, who else is they're saying? It's you know what? I, I think, I think Man City win it. Either way. Really? Yeah, it's, I it's think Man City win. I'm not surprised. I'm, I'm, going off with I'm not surprised that you said the supposed that. injuries of <laughs> No Harlan, No KDB. No, yeah, th them guys are. They're gonna. They're we, gonna we, make oh, it. we might have injuries, you know. Saka, yeah. yeah. So, 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 so if we if we work it like that, shit, man, just worry. Saka alone no. out of Arsenal. Yeah. It's a wrap for you. Yeah. Man. yeah. It's, it's but no listen, Saka. that's how big we, he is. Don't worry, man. We, no listen. Saka, no win. Don't worry, yeah. man. I that's saw I saw Saka and Nando's the other day. Say nothing. Yeah. You yeah, no, but I, 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 <laughs> yeah, I did. What are you laughing for, man? I do honestly think City. I think I do honestly think City mentally are gonna be up for it. Up for this. That's what I think as well. And Arsenal. No, I think you are, but I think your lack of experience might hinder you in this. Do you think you think the the experience from last season won't play a part? You reckon they won't claw on? No, no, I think in there? I do think. Um, I don't think I, mean, I don't think Pep allows them to lose twice. And I do think Arsenal's experience from last season will play its part. But I just think Etihad is. I think people under under it doesn't get spoken about enough. How oh, that's, that's what I mentioned. They the are, fact yeah. that it's, are, it's it's difficult for are us. Are Arsenal a better team this season than last season? In yeah. your opinion? Yeah, yeah, hundred okay. percent. So it is going to be closer then, you think? What was it last season? 3-1? Yeah. 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 We, lo we, we lost yeah, I think last season. 2-0 this time. We're going to lose 2-0? Yeah. It still yeah. might be the same. Yeah, so they might, they'll score and I think, you know, whilst you guys, this is just off the top of my head, whilst you guys are chasing the game, they'll, they'll hit another one. Let's just hope that it's a, it's oh. a reverse Uno mm. Psychology I'm to, kind of thing. I'm trying to, I'm trying to see how the game does play out, and I, I touch on what V was saying. The Etihad, them at home, they of oh, it's yeah, they're dangerous. But you keep flip flopping yeah. over. First, you just no, said... no, no, because it's what me, my, my doubt is the injuries. But then when man's saying, look, you know what, most of these players he does that a lot. Secretly, playing. you know, yeah. no, 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 just, I'm just, but you, you know, all their players are gonna. This is a crunch game. Yeah, Even so that's if you've the got thing, one leg, you're gonna want to play the, in this you know, game. Do you know how? Do you know how much I think that? Arsenal are taking it serious to the point. I'm not saying anybody else say how many players dropped out of international duty were saying, and I'm not saying that. Are you, you thinking they didn't know purpose? I think that they had a slight strain and they didn't even risk it. It's and I think that's bandit. a powerful. That's, that's a, what that's, Walker that's, done. Did they say Saka was bandit. sick? Yes, yeah, so Saka was sick. No, Gabriel went. Um, his source, man. It was, fucked his belly up. Uh, no, but Gabriel, Gabriel was already injured. Oh, was he already injured? Yeah. Which which Martinelli you're talking about, yeah? No, the no. centre back. Oh, oh centre back, yeah, yeah. He Yeah, um, I'm listen, like, again, he pulled like, up. and not the Ben White didn't go. Um He refused to go. Yeah, so mm -hmm. I'm saying so yeah, I'm, I'm just saying game, in the man. sense where yeah. you know they know how big this game is mm. and there's no Oh, you know what? We're just taking our stride. We'll go away. Rice England. played ninety minutes though, man. Yeah, but Rice has Rice, yeah, he's a he's a soldier. Like he what he's a soldier. Him, he's a proper soldier. But that's why he's a bigger soldier than Rodri. No. No. <laughs> no. That's the no. simple. So the worst thing is, like, it's, you, you know what, we, you know what the thing is where, <laughs> what this week, what oh, this season is got to do for your players, like the Sackers, the Rice. So it's those, it's going away in the Champions League, having them Champions League nights, going away with your England, mm. having them, your, it's having those sort of where it makes them certified soldiers. Okay. Like we watch them and they're about that life. But it's being able to go to that next stage with the pressure, with the accolades, with the best of the best. That's where you kind of be like, 
Oh man, what we stopped at, stepped up in Champions League finals, mm-hmm. like, and that's where Rice Listen, is. I love Rodri. No, 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 I'm, I'm not. I'm not, not no, 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 I know you're not. I'm just mm-hmm. for those that are listening to this is. I, I think Rice is a big deal. Yeah, so I think I. he's a big. So and when I watch him, his stature is a big deal. His price tag's not even been talked about. I just think you the the our views are have been blurred by this season. Like, if you really. If you know Rodri, you know this guy is just a different kettle of fish. When you've got KDB, Foden, Haaland, and the only player that, when they haven't been there, they've lost. That just, in in, in essence, in what it says, so, is everything. So if Arsenal win the league, are you yeah. going to change no. your mind on Rice and Rodri? No. No. No? No, I won't, no. Okay. for me, the, the worst thing is, which I'm, the, what I'm trying to say is, I think when you're going on, and I'll go off form, innit? When you're going off form... Rice is playing like a big deal right this. Do you know what I'm saying? So I'm just basing it. If you no, look no, back no, on the season, no, you, you can only you go would... off this season if you're going off a of form. So yeah. if you're going off of, he's playing like a big deal. But you can't... Don't the, forget when Harry you can't, Don't Hold on, when you can't... No, listen to what I'm saying. When a man's who is a bigger deal is still not taking no L's, there ain't shit you can say about that. So no matter what you're saying, he has still got to catch Rodri. And if he wins it this year, he That's hasn't what... caught Rodri. Yeah, that, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're so, not saying it based on that. So We're saying it based no, no, on the, the season, though, innit? Came, the statement yeah. he came is, would I change my view about Rice? But you can only change your view about Rice when consistency comes in. So, right, you, the, so, the yeah. accolades yeah. follow the performances. That's the only way you can change no, it. No, that's Rice's so that's first where, season. But, but exactly. that's what I'm saying. Exactly. You and just if, qualified And if he wins the league... But, so then, what, that's, that's, that's massive. No, Nobody's taking that away from him. So, I'll go with them. It wouldn't put him that he's better than It doesn't take it away from him. I'm just going for the fact that who's the better player in the season. Catching. Rodri probably won the won the Premier League in his first season. You gotta catch him, and that's <laughs> you. But 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 but, but but oh, Man City's but he's English, right? No, so no, Man City's got team blinkers on. teams over the last years oh have been a lot better, man. He's been playing in a much better team than what Rice so, has been playing. Okay, so is is that what it is? It's a team thing, or is, are we talking about them? Because the I'm, I'm 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 trying to figure out where you're trying to. Okay, like so if Rice. Okay, goal... so so I have moved the goalpost slightly. S- if Rice was in Man City's team, would he do more than Rodri? Do you think? No. You don't think he could add more? No. No. Okay. Okay. No, but you, do, do you say add I more? I think Rodri's game intelligence. And it's it's not a slight because I think you're taking it as we're dissing Rice. Rice is a no, I know you're not. So so here's but one. Here's Rodri's one. What's Rodri got is a different level. apart from the trophies? Yeah, game intelligence that Rice hasn't got. Yeah, game more. intelligence. Yes, he hasn't. Yeah. Got, he hasn't got, is that it? Is that it? Is that the only to, thing that he's listen, missing? Listen Rice? to what. I'm just listen, saying. listen to yeah. If you say somebody's got something, it doesn't mean the other person hasn't. Mm. So let's not move. So don't be like, oh that means he doesn't okay, have it. No, okay. he's got it. But there is levels, and that's just what it is. So, so Rice isn't levels. on Rodri's level, in no, your opinion, like, like in this, terms uh, of game, as game in, intelligence. As in, yeah. at this current time, yeah. As in a player, yeah. So Rodri's if you had, so if you had to pick, well, and I can only tell me if I had to pick one for a starting eleven for a DM, I would pick Rodri. That's just that's just it. So no matter if you say, oh, Rice is, if I had to pick one, because for me, Rodri ticks every single box. Rice doesn't. That's just that point. So, and that's just where I'll, that's where I will land. Don't take anything away because now you're talking about Rodney's probably the best in the world. So that, that's where you're arguing levels. You're not arguing our uh, two average players. But it's in your eleven, best. who did you put in? Rodney. You put Rodney. Switch. So it's two Rodries, two yeah, Rices. Rices. I'll put to be fair. I put the Man City free. I put the Man City free. Because you two are fuck. No, I can't. Yeah, I call it actually. I'm based on se- on the se- the work during the season. That's all. Not based on the reputation of it all. Yeah, yeah. No, I listen. I, get I think that. Rice you, you roll on form. I can't give you that. To step in I, like I, he I has. I can't give form. I think Watkins will give never supersede Kane. Old I'm, guard would never supersede KDB if they're both fit. In my opinion, I'm, just I'm, my I'm, not, I'm not comparing opinion. the players. You know I'm, I'm comparing in terms of the body of work during the season. Yeah. So you can still be better than somebody during that course of the season, so, but so, it doesn't mean that so, overall you're better than it because no, but there, there, could, there could be defenders that are better that are, are the, performing no, no, better than Van Dijk. But you wouldn't be. Man City are way higher than moving. they are. But, at, so but check this out. But check, but check this was, out. If you had to pick between one, and that's a question. So at this point now, so you and, 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 and look, but a player could be take in their body of work this season. I know I'm telling that. Yeah. But if you had to pick between KDB and Odegaard to go and win you the league. Who would you pick? It's what I'm going to ask you. 
Oh, I put KDB in my so, team. So, so I get what you're talking about. The body if Older God has been performing better than KDB this season, then I'll pick the player that's been playing but, the okay, best. Right, right. That's what I'm dig, going for. Dig this, dig this. You're going on this season. If Man City had are, have, are having a season form, that Arsenal are having, that's a disappointing season to them, right now. If what? If they're only left in two competitions, that's a disappointing season to me. For City? Yeah. Is it not? Yeah, of course. So based on... Um, so all, there's all levels. Ones. Yeah. Yeah, but... So, so Arsenal's expectations... Arsenal's are a club way. still... No, yeah, yeah, that's my point. That's fair enough. We're not... Yeah, I don't so, understand. So, we're not... So, 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 what what saying, saying. so what I'm saying is, you, you put Rice's um, performance... Not that he hasn't played well, but because your expectations are lower than Man City. City's, like, Rice's all of a sudden... You know, regarded as this highly mm, high player. Mm, Whereas mm, if mm. if, if Rodri's having a similar season and City are, uh, we'll be saying yeah. Rodri's below par. Yeah. That's what we'll be saying. So uh, this is what I said: my man has to have consistency to catch. So Arsenal well, have I mean, to be I'm maneuvering. Because so, but you're, got a so squad. You're, all you're saying, yeah, what I'm you're, a squad. all you're saying, yeah. this is what you're saying is. If somebody's been playing better than somebody in the season, you're going to put them in. So ch- dig this: when they pick like our uh, players or team of the season. Do they go based on reputation or do they go based on... No, it's the, that season. That season. Yeah. So that someone season. like Ramsdale who made goalkeeper of the, the season beat uh, the likes of Alisson, beat um, Edison. Edison. Doesn't mean that he's better than them overall. It's just based on that season. That season. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm going on. That, just basically so. Like, so if Man City win the league and Arsenal, whatever, finish second, third, who, go, who gets in the team? Over who? Rice or Rodri? Yeah. I'm still saying Rice. So do you think I will that, go with do you think the, 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 more the driving force? I think if Rice was in City's team, for, 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 I'm just so saying, what? I think he would offer more than Rodri, in my opinion. Oh, but, so uh, what I'm curious, I'm curious about that, right? As So you see what Rodri's done for the last five seasons. He's been, he's been there about five years? Yeah. yeah so the last five seasons. He's been amazing. Right? Yeah. Okay. So within that, he's won four Premier Leagues, a Champion League and everything that can be won. Yeah. Right? Rice has won the Europa for West Ham last season. No, it was the conference. Sorry, the conference. I apologise. <laughs> sorry. 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 So he won that last ma- season. Major then, feat for West Ham. So, so then he... Co- what's so your, I'm what's just, your point that you're so, trying to no, say? No, no, hold on. So then this season, he's had a great season. Mm. So now your statement is you feel if Rice was, was in Man City's team... He with those players. More. With those so, players he's so playing with. So in your head right now, Rice is a better player than Rodri. I think Rice is a better player than Rodri. Oh... Wow, wow, okay. I do. I do. But you were a footballer. Oh, thank you, my brother. <laughs> make a I'm telling oh. you, I prefer Rice well, to Rodri. Uh, even no, though I no, love no, Rodri. no, no, you didn't say you, you prefer. You said he's a better player. You said he's yeah. a better player. Said, I, I no, think that Rice English is better. Man there, the man right I think Rice you know. is better than Rodri. Oh. Okay, cool. Don't say prefer. Can, can, okay. can we separate oh. from what you said and what I'm saying? But you understand what I'm saying, right? The same way you're saying about Rice, what I'm saying. Rodri's an unbelievable player. No, no, I get that. But I, I don't know who's better than Rice Rodri. as a, as a holding Rodri. midfielder. Rodri. Rodri. I don't think so. Like Rodri. I, I, I don't think say, so. I'm just, I'm just telling you Rodri. You so can say how Rodri. Long, so let me ask you a question. How long have you been thinking that Rice has been a better player? <laughs> I, I'm just curious. How long? <laughs> What are you giggling about? <laughs> I'm just curious. Since he's, <laughs> since he's come to Arsenal. Oh, surprise, surprise. <laughs> Oh, I right. It took him six I, months. I love It took him six months to surpass Rodri. I needed to see. I needed to see. Oh, if he could wow. Up. Six. I the season even finished. See. Oh, I no. needed to see if he could step up. Oh, wow. And he, oh, and he stepped up. More than capable. But even champion. Oh, shit. More than capable. So, you, do you understand? Because if Rice played with better why, players. Do you understand why like I, I said struggle you, Rice would when offer somebody more. who played football for 20 years? Well, it was just two thirds of the season. Coach played football for th- 20 years. And he gave man six months to surpass. Man, that's won the Premier League four Rice. times, the Champions Rice. League, and everything. Oh, Lord, have Rice. mercy. Rice. Oh, oh, yeah. This all wow. started with Rice, you brought- Rice, baby. Oh, your team, right? Wow. <laughs> That's how it's like. Rice, Rice, baby. Oh. We need to wrap this one. We, we need to wrap, wrap this one. one. Very, hey, it's a wrap. Rice. Say not my guy. He's a crackhead. <laughs> oh, you can cut that part. Just, just one thing. Bit if, controversial. Even though I, t- if, I actually do think. Rice no, no, he does do think. And no, that's I do good. Think. And that's what's so think. good about yeah. it. If, if, if Arsenal beat Man City, the rare equation, let's say it's twenty percent that they beat Man City, do they win the league? 
I was going to go the other way around. If Arsenal lose to Man City, does that mean that they the league is the league's done? done. Um, yeah, I think it is. Okay, just to answer Regal's first, if Arsenal win, I, I still don't think it's over. Yeah, it's not um, over. Yeah, um, so I, I still think they've, they've got hard games. I think... Yeah, man, we've still got Tottenham away, we've still got Man United away. But you would say it was over if Arsenal lost? No, I wouldn't say it's over if anyone I don't think oh, it's really? a, no. oh, a definitive right. weekend. No. As really? In, yeah, just I like wouldn't I say said, Arsenal out of it. Yeah, like I, said, okay. like I said, like I said, So you don't last... think this game really is going to no, make I think, I think it's, that it, much It'd be a... more significant to Man City if they win. Of course. Than if Arsenal won, if you catch my drift. Mm. Mm. But I do think it gives Arsenal supreme confidence if they go to Etihad and win. I actually think they don't fear anybody. Yeah, I don't that's what I and, and that's what I think gives them. But I don't think it's definitive because mm. no, even still, that still we've of, seen Arsenal, of games. Games. yeah, yeah. a lot of twists. But I, I, again, like I said when we were talking about it last week, when we watched the when City played Liverpool and we looked at him and said, "Listen, however, there's too much to happen yeah. at this point." Where we were mm. saying I would prefer draw, win, lose. So there's just too much to happen, and I think same again on Sunday. I think it's still. Too much to happen. No, that's still so I very close, isn't it? Still yeah. very close. So I don't close. think either one. I just think okay. it gives somebody yeah. it's still a booster. Same. It gives somebody a booster pack up mm. them. Do you think? Do you win. think that the international break came at the wrong time for this game? Yeah, yeah. Big time. I I don't think a game like this should be played after international. Yeah, break. yeah I, I don't think did it, it. Yeah, yeah. I don't think they've done the same us. with Man City v Liverpool when Liverpool went to the Etihad. What was the scores there? Was that one after one. international break? Yeah, again? after an international break. Yeah. You don't. Well, you do. Yeah, yeah. One one. Maybe we, we could take a draw then. I don't mind. Would you take a draw? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll yeah. take a draw, yeah. But I actually think we can win the game. So you would I take really, a draw? No, no, no. I would take it, but I do think we can win the game. But I would take a draw if you ask me right now. I just, do you know what I'm saying? You know, you, <laughs> start, you, you, you start, start knowing that. Answer. You know how this game's going to play out, in it? So City's going to have the ball, but... Arsenal's going to hit them on a counter-attack. You know how this game is going to play gonna out. Be, yeah, it's going to be a good game. It's going to be a good game. You know, you know why... Game of chess. Why I'm hammer and tongue. Why I'm I'm less confident in Arsenal. Was no no I I explain why it, it was because of the Porto game. Like before that, because with with the Porto game, I thought, and I know it's Europe, and I know you play tactically different or whatever. But I actually did think Arsenal are going to show why they have a big chance in Europe. I was very. I mean, they still can. That you said obviously that, do so. That you thought that Arsenal were just going to just yeah. go into the game and just. They were well, to be fair, Porter. even Come against on, Leon, man. when we played Leon away, it wasn't a great performance from us either. So we've we've not, we've been a little bit indifferent, but we've had more good you know nights in Champions League. Me but more than anything, wasn't the fact of it shows how much pressure changes players. That's what it showed. So I get that. So that's a good point. It's that's a good point. now that it's the fact they're going to go to City, and all of a sudden, I think they're going to build this game up. I actually think it's good that it's the international break come because they don't... For Arsenal, you mean? For Arsenal. Yeah, because that's a good the, point. Because the, mm. the build-up's mm. not there. We're not even thinking about yeah. the game. Yeah, so yeah, as soon yeah. as Tuesday goes, all yeah. of a sudden, there's only four days yeah, onto yeah. the game. Yeah, Whereas that's if this was point. a game Monday yeah. to Friday, Ooh. because I didn't know, well I didn't you. know well about... No, no, I'm saying for you, I didn't know <laughs> Arsenal hadn't got past that stage in the Champions League for all that time. Yeah. I didn't know. Mm. So they must have lose. So the build-up for that, because... When you watch the game, you're like, oh, they're back at the Emirates. Man, yeah. Arsenal's going to step that's, on. That's that's like, they're yeah. going to step on, but they look... But tentative. they did try and start like They that, started, they tried Porto to start like, yeah, just, just nullified a and, lot and of... But, you know, Styles and, you know, make that, games... That, again, yeah, that's yeah, why I think, you know I think I mean? Styles. So, I think Man City... Um, listen, Arsenal know Man City and they've played against them many times. Mm -hmm. And I think that style in the sense where they don't put everybody behind the ball... Arsenal will hit them on a counter-attack with pace. Mm. So I do think styles make games. And that's why I do think Arsenal have to be clinical. They really do because... Mm. They have been anyway. They're, King Kai. They're gonna, cause, um, Kai Havertz. Again, again, saying all this, City are not firing on all cylinders. Green, Grealish ain't been there. Doku hasn't set down, set, settled into the team. Started off well, though, but... Started off yeah. very well, but you know that game management. Foden's been the one that's carrying them. Yeah. Silver's been there. Haaland hasn't been Haaland of Haaland, but he's been so it's just it, which who clicks on the Are day. Are still personally. saying Foden's more integral to carrying Man City across the line for the title, or saying still KDB Foden? I think I Foden's the one that stepped up because KDB's yeah. not 100%. Yeah, I think yet. once KDB's he's not there, really... you're going to see. You're, and the worst thing, and the reason why I say it, and I'm, I'm, this may be harsh, but 
even like when you when you, when you watched um, Foden for England, I just think there's that definitive point that those players got like KDB had. A little spark, so when it a little has magic, it, when it's yeah. when everybody's behind the ball and you're thinking there's no pass to be made, he right. finds it. Mm. You know, and mm. that's why they are the different makers. Foden, bad man, just mm. running off. Yeah, they're the X factor. But they're yeah, the they're the they're, mm. so that's where I'll always say that's what experience gives you. That's where you know if KDB runs on, but like he did when he came back off injury, when he runs on, you're like, something's happening. Like, you just know yeah. if he's there, something's going to happen. And that's the point where... Hopefully he gets pulled game, off uh, like the last game, and it just gets hooked. And yeah, Rice nah, wins you one in got, the you, have, you haven't got an endo. You, you haven't got an endo. <laughs> if Rice team, scores, you're in you trouble, by the way. Just what? telling you. What? So if, if he scores... I'm just relaxed. Yeah, relax. Okay, what did we, did we do? Predictions? Predictions for the game? 2 1 Arsenal. We make 2 0 Man City. 3 2 Arsenal. 3 goals. Ooh, wow. Goals. You know what? After all this conversation, I'm going to say 3 1 City. 3 2 Arsenal. Let's go. 3 1 City. All right, cool. Next one. Man City, Arsenal, best combined eleven. Ooh. Can't wait for that. Mm. Best, oh, if I was doing an eleven, oh. that's 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 hard. That's a that's a hard combined eleven. Yeah. Um, Why? Well, off the top of my head, I don't think Rice would make my team. What? You don't think Rice makes what? Team? what? No. So, you, I don't you, think but it's team. Arsenal. You know he's a hater, isn't it? No. Yeah. You won't pick any, like, so what's your on, I bet your whole team is flipping Man City. <laughs> so, so I, su- I, I support Liverpool, but oh, I pick Man City. <laughs> Hold on, right, if we're gonna pick our combined eleven, let's start goalie. Edison's out, so Raya. It has to be Raya. Oh, has yeah, to be Raya. Yeah, it's yeah, definitely Raya. Yeah. 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 Who's it? Who's the, the Man City goalie? Um, or, Benit, um, Ortega. Ortega. Is Ortega? I ain't gonna lie, bub. You what? What you say? I'm gonna take Ortega over Raya. Oh, oh come on, come on! I hate this right there. All right, Raya, right back. White or Walker? Not even a debate, Walker. Let's let him play games. Let's let him play games. Yeah, yeah, All right, centre backs. So Stones or Gabriel? Stones. Stones for me. But I go with but Gabriel. But Stones has been playing in midfield. But yeah, my but my two would be if I'm picking two, my two would be Stones and Gabriel. Over oh, Saliba. Yeah. My two would be Saliba, Gabriel. Right, keep that consistency. Left foot yeah. half. You would have you would have No, I think I think Gabriel's been better than Saliba this year, but so you would, so you would have both Arsenal centre backs yeah. over Diaz and Stones. Yeah, because they've so been the no best. So no centre back of City would make yours. They'll be no, because they've been the best pairing for me this season. Yeah, and best I, pairing. I would, I would, I wouldn't want to break that up. Yeah, best pairing is I get the pairing. I'm just talking about as players, as then making them better as a partnership. Yeah, this season. So you would. No, I, no, I feel I, I, I feel that like the defenders have been better this season. Stones, okay. Stones, and Saliba. Yeah, yeah, I don't get what you're saying. That's where you were saying. Um, I would say. Van Dijk. Oh, <laughs> no, sorry, I'm sorry. I would go Stones and Saliba. That's what I'd go. Left back. We ain't really got a... Who's your most left back? Sinchenko, then, man. It's Ake. Give you all. It's Ake. It's Ake. It's Ake. Ake. Right, shadow of a doubt. Yeah. Yeah. But he's saying that, you know what, we just buy past Kenji as well, though. And Kenji, is that his name? Kanji. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's been good as well. <sighs> but, but nah, nah, gonna play Stones, him, yeah. Stones and uh, Saliba all day. Left back's a funny one though, you know. There's no real stand up, but you would, you would have um, Ake there in it because he's been but, but more. He's not really... Yeah, but it doesn't matter. He's played there, so yeah. he's been the most consistent. So... Oh, Ake's been good, man. Ake's been yeah, no, good. but is he a real left back? D- All right, boom. DM. Rice. Rice. Rodri. Why? Rodri. Oh. What, Rodri's been playing better than I Rice this say, season? I would have to say Rice. Or are you just going in the past? Um, no, Rodri ain't, ain't had uh, uh, no uh, L's uh, to, uh, to his stats. So, so, so is Rodri... Yeah, he's been better than him. He's not. He's been better game. than Rice this season. Is that yeah, what you're yeah. saying? Yeah, I'll take Rodri over. Yeah, man. Uh, to, me, there's not much, to me, there's not much in him. You're not there. They're, they're Rod- Rodri, so Rodri has there. had has held no L's. How many L's has Rice held this season? Who's top of the league? Rodri has held no L's. I don't care. Who's top of the league? Could have yeah. drawn a lot of games. There How many go. games have they drawn? Not Who's sure, but that? he's in like I think a sixty yard or maybe 70. individually. He's not. So this is. Where, I think it's a close one. It's a close one. It's a close. But but Rice is on fire this season. Let's be honest. 
He's on fire this yeah, season. Man. Yeah, Rice having a good Rice season. Rice is having a good season. To be fair, he's adding goals to his season. game. Don't sleep on Rodri. He's, yeah, he's I a never, I never. But, but, like, it's the way the worst thing is. It's but I just think Rice the lack of respect you gave Rodri. No, it's not. It's just I can't. Rice cannot not be in the team. I just say again. Rice cannot not be in the team. It was only going on a DM status because you would fit Rice in, and I get that. Yeah. So what are you saying? I would, I would go Rice. Rodri. I would go Rice. 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 I would go Rice just because. I even I, I like his whole stature. I like everything about what Rice has done. He's coming to a new club and he's done his thing. So I like that. But for me, this Rodri again, the the importance of some a team that's won the treble and still need chasing Rodri, another treble, another treble. Can't sleep on him. So we're gonna go another midfielder. We'll we'll, we'll go four three three. So we go four three three. So we're gonna two play. eights, so two yeah, tens, two eights. whatever you want to say. Who are they? So Odegaard or Silva. Odegaard or Silva. Yeah, wouldn't we Silva to be on a, as a, as an eight? Well, I'm thinking De Bruyne, or Foden, maybe. Oh, yeah. Would you say the, the, the oh, yeah, number tens and that? Yeah. Ooh, yeah oh, that's yeah. quite a lot in there. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I ain't gonna lie there. Just saying Odegaard. that. I think I, Silva so, even, but, but I think open up a can of even Odegaard's <laughs> on fire on fire as well. But I think you've got to go for. De Bruyne so, and Foden. Over... Over what? Odegaard, over um, Silva. No, nah, mine would be Odegaard over Havertz. and um, Foden. If we're going on what's going on this Havertz. season. <laughs> <laughs> King so Kai. Go, so Odegaard, so KDB would make your team. He ain't, he ain't been there this season. Yeah. yeah I, so I, Odegaard, KDB, Odegaard, Odegaard and Foden. Yeah, you yeah. know what? Maybe I'm going on the past again, a bit yeah. like you were with Rodri. No, but, not. No, no, it's all right. It's right. Held not no, that's cool. That's cool. Nah, that's you cool. know what the worst thing is? Maybe you're right. I'll, I'll stand on. <laughs> You'll still stay with KDB. I'll stay KDB. If KDB no, is fit, I think... I'll stay KDB. If he's fit. But he's no, going currently though, right? So, yeah, I'm just saying. Like, I know he was... He got really. injured the last I'm going, game. I'm going Odegaard. last game? Yeah, but KDB he's, played he's last game? I'm yeah. going Odegaard and Foden. How season did he miss? I still say the best 11. KDB's in the best 11. So there's just no qualms. You can talk about current form. I'll say he's the best 11. He is, but we're going currently. Yeah, but still, you're current. I still say he's the best 11. If KDB's fit. KDB get plays in front of Odegaard. That's just there's no yeah. two ways about that. So yeah. so so who's yours? So mine would be uh, Rice, KDB, and Folded. Okay, okay. That'd be mine. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. And then you lot were. Um, I'm all over the place. I'm not gonna lie. I think it's Rice, Folded, KDB, or Odegaard. I think you're right. If KDB's fit, KDB has to be in the team. So I'm gonna go KDB. So you know what? Saying that, ain't gonna lie, man. <laughs> Fuck that. It goes Rod Rodri, KDP, <laughs> and Fold. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. See what he's fucking about. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know the worst thing is. No, you know, you're Fuck, not I sorry. Just, what no, are you no, talking I'm sorry. about? I, I, listen, I tried to be diplomatic. I tried, but nah, man. So like, why have you changed? Because yeah, why have you changed? I'll tell you the reason why. Because if they're both fit, Rodri and Rice. Are Rodri we doing plays. this based on ifs? Or no, 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 yeah, that's why. Yeah. You, you, I don't think you can do it on current form. If somebody's fit, they're fit. And that's why, for me... Yeah, I would probably pick KDB when it comes... When, but it just when you're explaining it like this. The, the word, when they're, when they're I'm just going based on the on, question on the I'll season. ask you. Hmm. So the question, if they are fit, so they're not injured, if they are available to play, that's just the question. If they're available okay, yeah. to play, yeah. if they're available okay. to play, who would play? But that's the, Rice, But KDB then there's a little bit unfair okay, because reputation can obviously... You know, second. reputation could obviously obviously yeah, the whole situation. Yeah, but that plays situation. a part. It plays a part. Yeah, yeah but if someone's what you've if done. someone's had an outstanding season, but then that's, that's fine. Far, you can pick him. Like say, then, for example, KDB's been injured for the vast so amount of the season. Question. I'll ask you a question. Yeah. The best way: Watkins all season scoring goals. Kane hasn't scored for ten games. Who do you play? What do you mean? Sorry, say that again. Watkins scored mm. goals all season. Mm. Kane's fit hasn't scored for fifteen games. Yeah. Who do you play? Watkins or Kane? 
But if he's if, if, both if fit, he's it's form, a question. hold on. If his form is not as who as, do you pick? I'll I'm go. Asking. I'll go with the running form. So you would pick Watkins over Kane? I would. Then, yes. Then that's you. Yeah. Then I, yeah. I wouldn't. That's, a, that's what I'm saying. There's if, no if, way. If Kane ain't scoring uh, goals, yeah, that's what I mean. It's like that's what I said about Corin. You can't just go. No, no, no. Let me ask you a question. No, I'm picking Kane. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. I'm just saying. I was about to lose that. Is that what he's saying? But you've been a footballer. No, but he's saying about Corin. I was about to throw that. If my man is banging goals. If man's banging goals, and if say for for example Kane isn't in form, you still stick with Kane. Thousand percent. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. What? I don't know. If, we, <laughs> if we're talking about current form, yeah. And if he, you're saying you're you just saying example. if they're both fit, if they're both fit, but Kane hasn't scored. Hold on, hold on, Cox. Let me just hear what you just said. Kane hasn't scored for fifteen games. England are going to start the first game of the Euros. Watkins has got... Of course they'll pick Kane, innit? Oh, Based on repetition. No, 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 I'm that. asking no, you. Yeah, I'm yeah. asking you. Forget the... No, no, I'm no, asking Kane's this. Is, this is not the world. This is you yeah, guys. Yeah, Kane's going to play. Look, so, say again? Kane's going to play. So, yeah, I, so, yeah, but yeah, why, yeah. so let me ask you something. Because I understand but a little bit why would before, Kane play? Because of what he's done. And, so, and that's the one that you know, regardless mm. of, when it comes down to pressure, So I'm going to put something to you. Does form play a part? Thousand percent. It does. Thousand percent, but not, but not in this. That's a lot of games. But, but, but not, games. but not. You know what thing is? Don't you remember when Kane went through that spell where he had a, he had scored two goals? Still ended the season with I, I don't stats. He scored two goals, I think, up until yeah, Christmas, then, and then he started you, scoring. So you. once, so fifteen games. What I'm trying to say is, <laughs> if he went on a fifteen game drought, man would be like, "Wow, it's Havertz went on when he signed was." Ridiculous! Yeah, didn't score. Yeah, then all of a sudden he's six and six. Yeah, I'm but just talking a about. Bit of a so Kane no, is an out and out goal scorer. But what, no, talking this about one saying, scores no, no. goals regularly. When yeah. someone like that doesn't oh. score. So so so. Hey, hey, we gotta get back to the Arsenal man City. Oh, sorry, sorry, but because that that debate was all it was a good authentic yeah, debate, yeah, yeah. but we won't move. We'll come back to yeah. that then on that. Um, but I, so form plays a part, but I think form, experience and consistency no, 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 don't I, come into play. No, it does. It does, but it's hard one though. I don't even think that's a. I don't think it's a hard one. You don't need that. It's just the the three out three. Oh shit! Fuck me! I fucking forgot about that one. Oh yeah. Um, All right. Cool. Front three. Combined front three. Well, I think we're all gonna go for the number nine, aren't we? King Kai. Or Jesus. Or Jesus. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Cool. We're gonna go for them Monday. Yeah. (laughs) Obviously, it's Harland. Harland. Yeah. Yeah. Harland. 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 Right side has to be Zaka for me. Who? Zaka. Oh, I thought Zaka. Zaka. I did say I did say Zap, Zap but yeah, I meant Zaka. Yeah. That, but yeah, yeah, yeah cool. Yeah. So Zaka. right now we're, we're all cool with that. Yeah. So Highland, Saka, and, and then who's on the left? So there's Martinelli, Grealish. There's Grealish. No, there's Doku. Grealish. No, you put Martinelli. It's there. Martinelli. Martinelli. Yeah, if it, yeah, Martinelli. Yeah. But and I think only Doku's fit out of all them guys you named. Yeah. Or do Martin. you then move Foden out and you put another person in midfield? You know what I mean? If you put um, them in their positions... Depending rightly, on your position, you want yeah. to get the best at them. You keep Fold as number 10. And then who's available on the left if... Uh, it's, it's, it's Martinelli. Martinelli. Yeah, it would have to be Harlan, Martinelli, Martinelli Saka. Mm. I think yeah. that's quite safe. There's Alvarez. Alvarez there. What's Ooh. Ooh. Alvarez there. Does he play on the left as well? He well, he does play down the middle when Harlan wasn't fit. But then I think... Yeah, he plays on the left. He plays on the left when Harlan is... Plays, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. And he scores goals. But I still think I'd pick Martinelli over Alvarez. I think I'll take Martinelli. I would take Martinelli. So I'll take Martinelli, Harland, Saka. Saka. That'd be my front three. Mm. How many goals has Martinelli got this season? I'd like to say five or six. Yeah, might be wrong. Seven. We'll check that. We'll check that. Because Alvarez Alvarez has got how many goals? Alvarez got about seven or eight goals. I'm sure. I know Martinelli's just a threat. But Alvarez is kind no, of Alvarez is a real good polished player, guy. Yeah, he's oh, a real to good player. Fair, he's a, he's a bad it's a tough one. Well. I think a lot of people would actually is... say Alvarez. Yeah, I think a lot of people would. Oh, Maybe Martin I'm being a little Martin bit biased is... because I'm going Martinelli, Martin but is Alvarez is a World Cup yeah, winner. I'll, I'll pick out Alvarez he's just because he's polished and he Proven. has a finish. I would go um, six. So Martinelli's got six goals. How many? Martinelli's got six. Yeah, six in a crown. And Alvarez has got. Okay. I think Alvarez ain't got that many this season. Either. I would say Martinelli. I, for me, I think Martinelli. I just so keep effective. it organic there. Man. Oh yeah, wing, yeah, yeah. wing. It's more of the eight in the crown for Alvarez and five in the champs. Oh, Alvarez. Alvarez. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Alvarez. I got Alvarez. Yeah. That's a low season for him. What? As well. 
Playing yeah. in what position though? Alvarez? All over. He, play, he plays. That's where he plays. He, he played up top the, though. He played number nine. He plays yeah. out yeah. Harlem was out for a lot. I bet a lot of his goals were when he was playing as a nine. I'll be honest with you. Yeah. A lot of his goals. So if we're going left, I'm sticking with Martinelli still. Alvarez. Yeah, I'm sick. I'm sick with Martinelli. I'm, Martin I'm sticking with Martinelli. Yeah. I like him on that. So that's how I can mind 11. Who had the best one? If you remembered it. We'll put it up on the screen. You had the best Obviously one. Obviously not yours. Easily. Arsenal man. hater. All right. So seeing that the talent that England currently have mm. compared to what they had during the golden age, Gerard, Lampard, Scholes, etc. Do you think it'd be a travesty if England don't go one step further and actually win one of these cups. No, I actually don't. I, I, I don't. And this crop of England players are amazing, magnificent. But I do think, I don't really watch too much of other football. But when I watch international football, I actually see a lot of good teams play a lot of good football and know how to get over the line. That's what I see. And I just think that we somehow get so tunnel vision, which I guess I, I understand because when you go through the teams, you're like, these are good players. But what I also would say is these players are made very good by club football and other players that for me enhance there. So we naturally go into every tournament and say, it's coming home. And listen, hopefully one day it does come home. I ain't going to lie. I would, I would love it to come home this, this summer. summer. I would, you know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm with just that. there for the vibes. I'm, I, listen, I'm with that. I would want it to come home. But I just think that we we do get to that point. And I, you know, you hear pundits, nah, oh, man, we're getting in there and we got to win. Do you know what I'm saying? And that's just the, it's the that yeah. over... But over, ain't the pressure on Southgate it, I, that you lot have to win? You I lot think have it would be a big disappointment. No, listen. Big I, disappointment. The, with, the, with the current squad players in form that we have... If we don't win something, but don't you think they're real bad? They lack experience, real bad. though. Because if you're talking no, about they've, they've got the experience, era. they've got the experience. Uh, how long really? have they but, been but, in England now? The players and they're playing the best. <laughs> they've got the, at the moment. They've, they've got they've this got year has to be our year. Mm. This year has to be a, if the players are fit. This year has to be. But our the year. question was to compare them to the golden era. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll, so I'll, I'll counter that, that question with so if they both both in their prime, what team do you think is better, the golden era, era team or? this current crop of players? It's difficult because I believe in the golden era, other countries were as strong as well. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Between so, the teams. Yeah, between the teams. Forget the what was yeah, out oh, there yeah. in the world. Yeah. Between the teams. <laughs> what are you going for? I, You've got the likes honestly, of John Terry, Rio. I don't Rio. think it's a debate. Yeah, I don't think it's a debate. I don't think it's a debate. I don't think... The golden era. I don't think it's current the golden crap. Era. Crap. Whoa. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Hey, hey, keep that in. <laughs> keep this in. current batch. Sorry. You can say this crop. It's all right. Current players. crap of players. Yeah, crop. I was, it was crop. I was going, but this, this, no, the golden this, era. Yeah, I don't think golden it comes era. close. Yeah, because but that's what I was saying. Based on, but that's even more so why England need to win something because it's it's not as strong. But no, I, no, I, I, do you listen, know what I mean? No, they have to. No, they have I, to I, win listen, something. I, I, I agree with you. I don't think the rest of the world is. Oh, I'd say Europe is because I think. International teams are still as strong. But that's why I saying. think the but question. I, I I th that's think why I think it'll be a massive disappointment. I still think there's big weaknesses there... in England. I, I, I so yeah, yeah, I, yeah I not, not, Look, I want, I want England to do well. I want them to win. But I, I, I think, I think people once again are looking at this with blinkered eyes. I think there's, I can name. I think um, what's his name Pickford I think he's a good goalkeeper I don't think he's an amazing he's goalkeeper not amazing, yeah. left back I don't think we've got anyone who's amazing we've just got who, who are the who, uh, so, well, I'll put this who, are the, back, who are the current threats the point, who are the current back. threats in so Europe even if you wouldn't even if you wouldn't it is in, that left side so but yeah so I'm saying so when you or look at if the Stone's centre backs less, it's the right, right backs side. cool we good with that the midfield we do say we've got midfield three of players right so it was the same when Scholes Gerrard and Lampard you were saying that three there was amazing but and, and they try to cramp them in to playing. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? And sometimes you want to be able to look at the bench and be like, oh, my days. But we've got Foden to come off. I'm not saying we will, know, you understand? So, because that's what we'd be able to, but, and that's the thing which I think we get so, oh, no, we've got the best three and we have to play them. But teams are not played on paper. So you've got to get the best out of these players. So play them in the positions they play mm. for, their, um, for their club teams. Because that's what we're getting at. And you think that if that means dropping one of them, if someone's playing better, that's what I think. I, I think that if you're playing France 
and the first 11 for an hour hasn't done. But then you've got Bellingham, I'm not saying, I'm just using his names, or Foden that you can call on to be like, oh no, go and break into it or go and be that difference. But that's, it's tournament So you're saying football. the squad is better? I think the squad. This current sense, squad is better than the golden era squad. I would say, oh, I got, I, I got to look past the... Not the team, not I the got, first I 11. I got to look yeah. past it. So I'll say, yeah, it. I got to look past it. But right. let's just, so Campbell... Right, forget it. But let's just, look, but let's just look, let's just go off of... I'm just saying that. Cause, I only said that because of the fact that you mentioned if you, if you need to make those changes and if you're looking no, at you've got why, a Jude Bellingham I think or... That, I think we'd, we're, sometimes we get to the point of we get so excited by seeing the way these players play for club mm. and think they can exactly do it. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. So, but I keep saying that yeah. Right now, Bellingham's got 20 goals in the Liga playing as a 10. Foden's got whatever it is playing as a 10. So for me, and then you can then think like, oh, okay, not an arrogance may not be it. You could be gung-ho and say, I'm going to play two 10s. But in international football, we know work it doesn't that work yeah. that way. Mm. So that means we can't force feed them into it. So let's get both of them at the best that they're the best playing for 10s. And if one has to drop out, so be it. But we're so on, anybody would love to have these three midfielders. So we've got to play I them. I completely in. understand your point. But... I can't understand how you're not picking. If you are the manager, you're not going to play both them players. No, no. But okay. So then this is what I'm if saying. If you're going to play but one 10, for example. Say, but this is then, both those players need to play in England. As the team. course of your team, and this is where the tunnel vision comes in. So our left side, when I'm saying this is no disrespect, ain't the strongest. So our left back, our centre back ain't, ain't the best. So that means you don't want to take out two DMs to play one DM. And defensively, we're not that great. To put in two more attackers at the top of the field to go so, and then so, win the game. But what I'm saying to you is, is sorry, sorry, and I think I said it in the group, Bellingham then may have to drop back so then why, and but, play so, instead of mid, because he can do that. But, but, okay, but then he's not right. the Bellingham of Real Madrid. So this is what I'm saying. So then yeah. But he's still so he's the force best. Feeder. But, but he's force, still the but, best but centre mid force feeding in England. It might, for the job. It might so, not be though. So it would be because who would be better than England's team? Then Cole. No, no, it's not a case of who'd be better, but it's just a case. Is he more? Would he be more effective? But then that's why we don't get past the line. That's why we don't get over the line. So you're taking that 10% of what Bellingham does going that way to say he can do it going that way. Mm. So that 10% that we need to go and win it, we've lost. Yeah. Because now we're not playing and getting the best of these players right, that we're seeing. But you've the got big example, they've done it with Gerrard and, and Lampard. Just, they I, took, again, that's what they took yeah. Gerrard's game away to accommodate Lampard and it didn't work. You've seen, so you've seen a, and a, scores. A, an example of a, a golden But it was a slight player. difference because they played... Uh, Scholes on the right. They played Gerald yeah, on the yeah, right. They, they done. They, they done. Sure. Everything. Yeah, 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 no, but no, 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 no. Because Bellingham a was a centre midfielder. But okay, so he played a lot of his. He only played higher since he's gone to Real Madrid. Rio was a midfielder, but played him back. They can all play positions, but now if he's excelling yeah, at a I, position, I understand but, that. But, but, no, but you're saying to do but it. Scholes, he didn't play so, right why wing. Why would you not then? But this is what I'm saying. Why would you get not somebody who is now an out and out? Eight or an out and out six, out and out DM. That's what he's born and bred to do. That's that's it. Not saying that oh he can do it. Get too defensive and then chop and change where you need to change, rather than be off the ilk of listen. The best player should play because that's. I what, understand, but and no, if that I'm means maybe Foden has to go and play left wing. But I'm just saying both of those players have. Saying, I know you said, but both of those players don't have you, to play for England. To get, so let me ask you a question. The only team so I've seen do, do that is Brazil. The, so I'll ask you a question, right? <laughs> play all the so players. where Foden played yesterday, right? Right wing. And then got put. So did we see the Foden on Man City? No, no, but that wasn't the England. No, but what I'm squad. saying, but what I'm saying is, so we want to see the way these players play for their club in the country. That's what we want to yeah, see. That's yeah, I what agree. we're. That, so then I you're agree. straight off like. Oh, you know what? But then if he has to move to the left, but he's only moving him to the left because of, in my in my opinion, it's tournament football. So maybe if one of it's tournament football, so you've got to look at it when he's saying that. Okay, you know what? But we can play a game for an hour. Like this is international. These are the elites. So if you don't start in the eleven, it's still the elite. It don't take anything away. So you do whatever you need to do to get over the line. That's in my. Opinion. Okay, so you wouldn't start both of those players in the Euros. Depends who we're playing. Depends who we're playing. Mm. In the final. Depends who we're playing. In the final, it could be France, it could be... I'm just trying if, to think... If I'm it. coming across... If I'm it's going to be against, against the big team. Like, if I'm coming up against a team... For the sake of it. Yeah. Not for the sake of it, because those two players but, are England's best players. How can you have both one of England's best players on the bench? Because tactically... You can't. You because can't tactically... That's what I'm saying. Look, look, look at France. Tactically, France. Saliba's uh, one of um, France's best centre-backs. But he doesn't play. They don't force him in there. But is he? Yeah. How many times has he played for France? How many times has he played in the tournament? He hasn't played in any tournament, Saliba. So there's a big difference there. 
Foden and what, Bellingham. But you, Arsenal but you just said, like you said this season he's the no? fucking world. Yeah. You just said he's the best this season. So what am I saying? So hold on, hold on. We're comparing him to Man City. You know why I say that? Because you just said he's a world-class centre-back. I say he's the best defender in the world. He's a world-class centre-back. You said he was world-class. If he's a world-class centre-back, he would have had to No, no, when did I say when did I say world-class? I thought you said you're a world-class player. No, man, I never said that, man. Don't worry about that. No, no. Van Dijk and all these things. You're making them bold statements when they say I would play Saliba, to England. but you can't compare the Saliba case to Foden and Bellingham, in my opinion. Okay, so can I? The reason why I'm asking you this question, I'm asking you this question. So to you, it doesn't matter where they play; you just want them in the team. Yeah, that, I don't get. Is that. that what you're saying? I would play them in the two eights. Okay, I've said that. Cool, but so, say if that's detrimental so, to the so team. This is what I'm. So this is what I'm why saying. Why would it be detrimental to the team? Because you're oh taken away please. from what they excel. No, they're in. playing in their positions. I'm playing them two eights. Yeah? Yeah. So they're playing there so where why, they used to play. Why would he be so disappointed? Let me ask you a question, right? So when he, he touched on the frailties. I don't think that, he watched the game yesterday. Yeah, I know. Maybe he didn't. But oh, there's, come on, you can't No, look no, at that. but let me say something. There's, there's frailties. France lost to Germany 2 0. But that's not what we're not talking about. So there's frailties in the England team. Yeah? Because we keep saying on how disappointing we'll, we'll be if England don't win with these proper players. Mm. Right? So, but we, did, we still say, and would you adhere to say, what is England's weakest? What, what, what's their biggest frailty? In the defensively. England? So defensively. So, but what you want to do you is want to put you want to put two more attackers, even though weakest, the, the, the frailties is defensive. That's what I'm saying. And But then your mm. argument is like, oh, I won't play them 210. I'll take somebody who is a 10 now and flourishing and playing deep. The only way oh, I can I defend you here is the fact that yeah. you might want to try something different. I get that point because... And you have I, to try it. And, I think, try and it. I think it's the fact he thinks Rice is Superman as well. He does. <laughs> he does. Six months? Man, Rice is the guy. Cause he's a, Rice don't need nobody. I man. actually don't understand. Go Manu's there now, though. I'm a bit confused. I'm a bit confused. Rice I'm a bit confused <laughs> but I'll be honest with you. I'm confused. <laughs> you can laugh. I'm confused right now if you're <laughs> telling me yeah, that Rice you personally alone, think Leave him alone. that no, between good. Foden and Bellingham, only one of them can start for England. Because this is what I'm getting no, with this conversation. No, no, no. no, no. I don't they understand what they you're... could start. That, so that's no problem. Your, so the question no, but they wouldn't you. start in your teams because so you're, 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 you're trying to say we're defensive. Let me you ask said, you a said question. Said on the team. So one, I, I just, I just said team. in the final, the best, the main game to win the tournament. You're telling me Foden and Benham don't start for England. Is this what you're telling me? No, no. Depends so, who they're playing. They're playing in the so, come on, they're going to play in France. They're playing. Stop. The best teams, Germany. So now let me tell you something. So if I want to get the best out of Bellingham and Foden. And because I would not, I could not both start them as tens. So if you, like you said, mm -hmm. if to get them in the team, I put Foden on the left. That's a different argument. That's a totally different argument. Okay. So that's, so you're that's not, not okay, what you're so, saying. Okay. So yeah. So you're not so saying that you would have played. What I'm saying. Both of them. What the argument is and what keeps happening. And if you're not the same because you say this, why do we not see? The same players that we see week in week out. So straight off the bat, the man say, "Bob, let Foden be a ten. But let him float. Let him do what he does for City. Let him go win games. Mm -hmm. Cool. That's what he's saying. So you would say yourself, you would play, if you had to pick 110, who would it be? If you had to play one, if the way they play now, the way they play, who would you play? Judah Foden. Judah Foden. Just cricket me, bro. Come on, because you're just, if you had to pick one, I'm just, I'm just gone. Better than him. So you pick, but, so, okay. So Foden now, who is carrying Man City to trebles, playing as a 10, mm. right? At, at his position, you would want to see him it's the like same. This. But you, no, what I'm trying to say is you'd want to see him do the same. But then what you won't, can't play him as a 10. So you can't play him in a position where he flourishes just to shoehorn him in, you'll play him on the left. Not saying that that's any bad because he's a good player, but you don't get the fold and you get. That's the point I'm getting back to you. But, but that, you don't get... So you're right, you're right. Play them, play on the but, 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 that team, but that Foden is better than the other players in that position, in my opinion. Okay. In what right. position? So if Foden was to go and play on the left... He'd be better than Rashford. He'd be better than Grealish. He'd be better than, I don't know, uh, Gordon. Actually, in my opinion. The worst, thing is, I actually, my opinion. the worst thing is, I actually don't think we see that because we keep going back to Foden of Man City than the Foden of... So I don't think we've seen no, but the that's Foden... two different things you're saying. I don't think we've seen the Foden of City in, our, uh, in England. Yeah. Because you're so saying playing two on the left, you're, you're or not saying you haven't two seen eights. That. You're not saying two eights. So we you're haven't not seen saying that. Folded so you're just on the left. No, no, I was, I was just no, because he just said 
What did you say before that about maybe Foden playing him out of position? No, I, what I'm trying to say is I don't think that, and that's the question that comes up. I would they play keep talking Rice, about that left position. Me person, I play Rice, so they, they talk Bellingham, about that left Foden. position. That that's left what position. I would play. That left position. At they're least talking try about, it. Would it be? I'm, the worst thing is right. I'm not. If you was to say, look, let's try it, we'd all be like, yeah. And I think, like yeah, I said, that's a different that, thing. No, no, I would say the same. What I would as also well. say is when you play attack-minded football, Klopp does it. Pep does it. But if they're going to monopolise the ball, you'll put four forwards in there. Five forwards. Because they're always going to have the ball. In international football, which we say, which we see yesterday, you play Rice by himself, mm. but teams are going to open okay. them up. Yeah, can I so just say, don't, don't look at that game too no, much. But forget, no, but don't look at that game too much. We didn't, play, we didn't play our full strength what, side. Uh, so, okay, let me Come ask on. you. So, so. Come on, don't so, look at that game. Are you off? As, so, okay. So England have had those kind of games before. You lot have so, had those type of games. The back, the back, oh, the back oh, wow. six was the full side. Chilwell starts? Who, who starts over Chilwell? Shaw. Sure. Shaw ain't going to make it, man. So you think Chilwell's going to start in the Euros? Yeah, sure. Like, we'll Trippier, sure will Trippier play? All right, sure, we'll come back. All right, let's say even sure. I don't think left back he's going to play. All right, cool. Let's Personally, go. Let's maybe let's Trippier sure. maybe get there. Maybe let's say Trippier um, or sure. Then you had Walker, Stones, Maguire. Yeah, it's fair. Then you had Rice. Rice yeah. yeah. You had Foden on the right. Yeah, Gallagher Gordon, was no. there. Gallagher was the only Gallagher, one. Gallagher, no. Foden. No, no, so, so, that's why I said the back the six. Back okay, six. so apart from Chilwell. But they the still were opened up. That's six. what I'm saying. That's my one, point. Yeah, but the attacking... Makes a difference. Makes a difference well, when I'm attacking players. It makes opinion. a difference in regards yeah. to what side of it? Having more possession, ball of being in the other uh, opposition half so more. Do you, so, okay. So, when you play top teams, it's what, cause I'm, I won't knock anything, of course, attacking players. But when you play top teams, do you feel the top teams won't attack the same? No, they will. So, so if but, they're going to attack the same, I just want to land on your point. So, if the top teams attack the same and we're very attack-minded, going back so when they do have their attacks the frailties will be there but if we have a better attacking team do we score more goals in them that's irrelevant they might have a better cause, defensive because that's what I'm saying I just because they've got attacking team as well and it's got to be defensive it's, what you, the thing is you, what I'm saying is it was there for you to see yeah and it's very tunnel because I'm saying as a footballer as a, as a, as a coach <laughs> that was because of Gallagher in midfield oh, oh everything that went wrong geez, was because of Gallagher Gallagher wow. Jesus Gallagher no Maguire wow. no Maguire's gonna be there. Shouldn't be there. But he's gonna be there. Doesn't matter. He shouldn't so, be there. So he's gonna. He's gonna. So he shouldn't be there. But he's gonna be he's there. Gonna but be yet there. still, you want more. So what, because Maguire's gonna play, I'm taking out one of Foden or Bellingham. No, I'm not saying that. The reason why we want to have two so holding this, midfielders. This is what I'm trying to make you understand. Is, Try so it. To shoot on. To shoot horn your your names in. Foden won't play as a ten. Bellingham won't play as a ten. But Bellingham will play as a ten. But Foden yeah, won't play as a ten. That's the point that we're trying to say. So to shoot horn your team. Foden won't play as a 10. So that, the one, when you're getting gassed and seeing, oh, they can play Foden, there. They the can play, they'll be on the rah, pitch. Rah, rah. Like, tell me, you tell me one game that Foden's done what he's done for City, for England. That, that's all I'm coming back to you to say. Where but does Foden normally say, play for England? They've tried him in the they've in that, tried him. In that position. In what position? Oh, um, they've tried him at all. He played eight. on the right, played on the left and played him as a 10. He's played all three. How many times? How many times oh, would how you many, say, how many, how many games would you say Foden has played down the middle? As Compared to playing on the wing. He's played I, for way so more times on the wing. How many times has Bellingham done it? Played where? In that same position. What? More same attacking? For I think a lot. And why do you think yeah, I'm trying to figure your point. resound for Bellingham playing? There? Yeah, I'm trying to figure your point. What's what your do you point? mean my point? Because you said, name me how many times. I don't understand what you're getting at. So right, we validated if, if, if the point. Going, if you're, you're to going, shoehorn him in on yeah. the left... You if, haven't if Foden seen. plays on the left. No, but you, you've just said how many times he played on the 10. Because I oh, was your, your point saying when have you seen Foden dazzle like he did for City? Then you came back and said, How many times has he played as a 10? Yeah. Right? So I'm saying, but uh, Bellingham plays over him. So he's gonna play where he's gonna play yes. on the left. I'm going off his point of putting Bellingham further back um to accommodate Foden. Like Bellingham has showed up for England in that position numerous times. I don't think Foden's showing But I've like told that. you what I'd play. I've I told you I'd play Rice, Foden, Bellingham. Yes. I would play so one tens. holding midfielder. Yes, yeah, so you yeah. play two tens. Whether you say that we're defensively weak, whether you say against better teams we get opened up, oh, that's what I'm telling play. you oh, okay. no. that's what oh, I would play. That, that's fine. And I'm telling you again, Foden and Bellingham have to play for England in the Euros. Okay. Not just one of them. 
Okay. They both have to play. Yeah, Stop. That, but that's a different. That's I'm a just game. telling you. So again, that's a different and statement. And I'm saying to you it's that they should be starting. Statement. Listen, they should be starting you as two eights. So, okay, correct. That's what I'm saying. Oh, oh, they should be starting as two eights. Best of luck to England. Oh my <laughs> for fuck's sake. <laughs> Oh. Rice, rice, baby. He but and the worst thing is he fucking really believes it. He does. Reese believes what? I, I just I, just, I, 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 I can't. But he's coming for coaching. He's a fucking. <laughs> <laughs> you came to and, my side. and you're not a coach and you were trying to <laughs> say that you, you might not play <laughs> both of those players get the fuck out of here coach you we should have went on to Southgate well, man. Yeah, man. The South, man Southgate don't miss more fuck I know you know we should have went on to Southgate but how can survive, you be man. so so you will play players so hold on hold on I yeah, forget you man I just I, I said in the this. final yeah if you were the manager you're not playing Two tens. You're going to play two holding midfielders. I'm definitely not playing two. Thousand percent. Okay, that's fine. Okay, the game relax. can be done within twenty minutes with yeah, two yeah, tens. Yeah. Okay. The fuck? Okay. We what? could score three goals in the first oh, twenty minutes. Oh my god! Anyway, anyway, anyway. The Go final. On. So who, the gamble. Who are you going to play? What? As your two holding midfielders. I'll take the gamble though. In a final. In a final. Because England. A hundred percent, man. Hundred percent. Based on England. You're alone. going back to that negativity. Because yeah. I just. It's, it's, it's not, nothing's it's worked thus far. It's, I don't. Think We've had two nothing, holding midfielders, boys. We played two holding midfielders yeah, and we lost. lost. Yeah, lost. Oh. Fuck's sake. Try it. Man. Try it. Try it. Right. Arsenal, right? Last negativity. No, these are about England. No, because the fuck. No, 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 no. England. Who would you play? No, 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 Who would you play as two holding midfielders in your final? You gain experience. But cause you out of the middle of the got no no you're like saying, got, who would you play that. alongside Rice? Let's go go home. Have to be Gallagher. Oh, Try it. You're not fucking winning nothing. He just said he played Rice final. and Gallagher in the final. They got to the final. No, no, no. So what? you just plucked it out. So let's say they got to the They got to, to the, the final, final playing who? So let's say What Gallagher just, in the team? Well, if they got to the final. So I, you just you just said if they're at the final. I just so no no no. I said to him okay. in the try, final, man. who you play as your two holding midfielders? He said Gallagher and Rice. No, that's dead. Dead! So you're not who, winning the game. So who'd you play? You're not winning the game, V. So who'd you play? I just told you you play. I oh, play, you play the 10s? I'm playing yeah. three. I'm playing Rice, Bennett and Foden. That's him. That's him. Okay. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Gallagher. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah. Get out of here, man. I hope you lot lose anyway, man. They still want to go to this two holding midfielders like they've been doing for okay, the last four or five okay. years. Yes, yes. And we they've understand. won we know, nothing. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Man. They've won nothing. <laughs> oh, God, yes. <laughs> wow. They've won nothing. Yeah. Wow. I so, no. so ask the question: Should Southgate get sat before the Euros? Dash, you thought. Listen, there? you know my thought. I don't really have a horse in the race with this, but why aren't you English? No, I'm not English, man. You already know my riffing. Angola, Angola in the on, building. And Angola. <laughs> but like, listen, but and, Angola. And, and, what colour is your passport, though? It's both. I got both. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. What are you, bro? Uh, oh, yeah, so. <laughs> you see, I do. Goodness me. He's living, he's living in the king's country. So I don't want to ask King care, George man. and that. No, he's not King George anymore, isn't it? What's his name, man? <laughs> what did you say? King, king George. George. King George. Oh, and that. King Charles. Charles, same thing. My mother. <laughs> nah, Southgate, okay. listen. I'm, I'm, I'm coming on the team. Hey, where hey, don't disrespect. Sorry, Charles. If you sack him, you might give yourself a chance, man. Chance, try tr well, try wow. it. Chance of what? You give Listen, a, man, a new manager come in. Yeah. He's going to have one. Is this the last international? No, there's one more in there. Yeah, one more true. One, one international break and then what? You expect him to go and win, you, win have it? Have you won anything thus far? Yeah, but I'm saying you need, a manager needs time, especially at international level. Yeah. He's got to go in there. He's got to see what, he, you know what I mean? What's there, a nah, style of play. To, can it work? And who would they bring in now? Ah, oh, that's the difficult one, isn't it? That's Mourinho. the difficult one. You want yeah, Mourinho, probably, isn't it? I would say Mourinho. Nah, Maybe nah, nah. might be able to galvanize these players because no, you'll you play As you said, it's, it's you'll play you'll play four defenses. You said it's international it. football, isn't it? So it's it's slight. It's it's a lot different than club football. So in terms of galvanizing the players, and I know this is a lot different with the Afcon and Euros, but you saw the way um, the Ivory Coast mm. second in command came in, galvanized the players. So it could be just couple of tweaks that might help it because tactically we're saying that Southgate ain't really at the races so why not maybe give it a try you, you know the maddest thing is out here yeah? you were saying he weren't you right? weren't uh, listen <laughs> and even <laughs> so not, we don't put me in that box don't put me in that I don't cause, mean because Southgate's your guy as well man you might be taking guy. pictures in Miami and stuff my guy guys <laughs> Ask my wife with daiquiris and no, let me put that out there people be like if I went Southgate with daiquiris and that um no, see, for me, don't get twisted and tell me if I'm 
the last two tournaments, or has there been a third tournament? They have a two tournaments. There was three, was, I think. So what was the? So how did it finish? They've they've gone semi-finals, um, finals, final, and then and they, was it the Nations League? Nations League was that yeah. semi? They went to the final. Oh, final! Yeah, 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 yeah. They lost. So you know all the money. Is that Italy? They lost. No, no, that was no, Euro. Italy was Euro. So who did they lose in then? Uh, Germany, France. Wasn't it France? I don't know. We're just fucking in my final. But anyway, but look. So for me, I look at it like so. There's two elements that come into play here. I think tournament football needs experience. I think England has now got that with his crop of players, mm -hmm. right? And I look at it, so there's a there's like anything, oh no, we've got this, we've got these players, so we should be playing free and fluent mm -hmm. and you know, he's too defensively and but for me, the progression is the progression in the sense where in tournament football, he's been probably England's most successful manager in the sense of of the modern era, if and correct me yeah. if yeah. So yeah. so where I look at it at this the point 60 now. Odd years, so where I look at it at this point now, I'm like yeah, you're right. They played two holding midfielders and that got to the final. But now these players are a couple of years on, won more stuff, learnt more stuff with each other. So getting over the line, I, th I think it's more pragmatic, gets you through tournaments rather than gung-ho. Mm. So there's not... I've, and again, the one thing that stands out massively for me with him, bar the whole... And I'm not coming from Maguire in that, bar the whole players seem like they're getting their fitness playing for England, which I wasn't raised on. Mm. You know, I was raised on, boy, you kind of earned your spot. Or the fact playing. that he's got his favourites. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I always think, as being a player, I think managers always have their favourites because he put it on him. That's their job. You know, their job is... Even when they're not performing or but, not playing for but, their clubs. See, that, but they have their favourites for some reason. When it comes down to a battle or a war, they're like, look, you know what? I know this person's character. Yeah. I, that's just managers and yeah, players. That, that comes to being loyal. Yeah, yeah. It, listen, it is where it is in that. Part. Blind, that's though, my only thing times, is uh, the only problem, not the favoritism, is the fact that how we can justify playing somebody who don't play minutes. Has he been that's, able to justify that though? No, that, that, that it's more the one that stands out is the Maguire one. Mm. I'm like, he don't play for his club, so how can you rate him through his form throughout the season? That's or, even, the, or even some players that have not been. Playing well and not being informed, like Rashford's, for example, and stuff like that. They yeah, continually. I, I, I ain't gonna lie, man. There's certain players which, when it comes to tournament football or international, because it's not week in, week out, and you're not gonna play them, but for 10 minutes, Rashford's a problem. Rashford come on yesterday and he looked lively. And that's what I think when it comes to international football. It's not so week in, week out. Mm. You actually take for, you know, attributes. So you're like, all right, well, Rashford's real quick. Games needs to be stretched. I'll bring him on because it's not week in week out. And what about the Raheem football. Sterling when Sterling was had a good period of time oh, where yeah, he was playing yeah. well no, and he weren't getting he picked? Was, he was moving funny for that. Like, I, he's don't, still don't moving sorry. funny with Sterling he's still, now. Yeah, he's still moving funny. You can see that he's holding grudges with certain players. Mm. But again, that's managers. You know what I'm saying? Managers, club managers will do the same. They so do you hold think? Managers. Do you think? I mean, it's, hold. Do you think it's absurd that that there are? you know, a, a, a section of fans that are baying for um, Southgate to be sacked. No, listen, I think that's fans anyway. I, I, think, I fans, think at this point, it's, 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 it's a bit... It's, it's silly. It's silly. Yeah. At this point, it's I really silly. I think, I do understand, but a lot of fans wanted him gone after the, after last, the last tournament. tournament. So, I did understand that, but I think at this point now, you just got to... You just got to roll Support. With the punches, yeah, you got to support. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I, listen, no, you know what I, mean? I definitely agree with it because as much as I'm saying it, but there's other countries that have tried. Spain have tried it. Um, I think who was it? Ecuador have tried it, and it don't work. Most mm. of them are just last sixteen, and then it's done. Yeah. Croatia tried it. Um, no work. So yeah, no, England didn't get to the Nations League final. They just went out to Portugal in the semis. Yeah. yeah. But then even that look, and I, and the, the thing is, and but I he know, has been quite consistent. Though. That's the yeah. point where I, it comes in. I think more now than ever. You know, there was always tournaments and it was always England should win it before and England hadn't mm. even got mm. to those latter stages. But B, I think it's now because the players that they've played three, got, four years ago, got, yeah. they've now progressed more experience and they're playing probably the best in their positions. And oh, arguably, you could so say why, in the world. Why play folding on the left if they're playing the best in their positions? What are you talking about, man? You said to <laughs> I didn't say to play folding on the left. You see, <laughs> yeah. you didn't listen to me. Oh, sorry, you did say two eights. My back, sorry. Well, and yeah, you man. did say two eights. I'll put yeah, it down. Also, it might, it might be a taste sorry. of what, what <laughs> Southgate's given. Now people want more, isn't it? He's got, he's got um, the team the furthest they've been, certainly in our lifetime. Yeah, and people want... So, yes, they deliver then. Yes, they deliver for this tournament. Yeah, I think this tournament's massive. That's why I honestly believe that 
We've got to win this one. But we I still, have to I win still this think tournament. England fans should be thankful for the experiences he's 100%. given. Hundred percent. And the reason why I actually go through that because I, I agree. You you look at the who plays on the left if you put the two tens. So if we Rashford, go if so Rashford if we go off your oh team yeah, so if we go off your team so we look at it and again I'm, I'm not talking about world. I think football I start Rashford because I can't really think about world football off the top. But when we're talking about potential enough, that, listen, uh, the squad's strong enough maybe, to... Maybe Gordon. I need yeah. to see more of him. I, I, I would, if Grealish was fit, I would go Grealish. But no Sterling? Sterling's not even in the squad. He's not, you're not picking Sterling. Damn. That's all we know that already. Coming from my boy Sterling. Maybe that. Grealish. But then you look at it, so... So we don't Grealish. have, as in, a world-class keeper, don't have a world-class left-back, Mm-hmm. Don't have a world class centre back. But I don't think I've been clubs mm, Stones, either. arguably. Yeah, no, I mean, as in to, oh, on okay. that side. It's three um, players, really, isn't it? So you say arguably. No, more than, well, is, goalie, is Rice, left is back. Rice world class for you? Yeah. So what we're saying is. Yeah. is so four players then? Realistically, the players. Four players. Shushman. Four players. Answer yeah. the question. No, you, you can't He's count. He's trying to make his point. Oh, sorry. Let me leave that because I just want that. Is work? Arguably, the other players. What's he saying? He don't want to ask you answer the question. No, no, you. Arguably, the other players <laughs> are world class. Who? Arguably, England's other players. Other players like where? Bellingham, Foden, Kane, uh, Rice. Stop. Huh? Oh, oh after you continue. Stones. The other players, apart from the three, they're arguably the best players uh, in Saka, the. Rashford. Saka, Saka, yeah, they're arguably up there. They're up there. They're definitely up there. No, I'm t- upstairs. Walker. Is Walker. Right, England yeah. should have won the there you Universe go. Cup. Universe. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we even playing humans? Bro, why am I on this? Everybody world class, man. Yeah, man. Let Fados and his man them come yeah, play them cars. Exactly. Yeah. Come on, be England got okay, okay. them cars. Uh, but you know what I'm trying to say, though, right? No, but listen. You know what I'm saying? I'm listen, of course, man. England. We've got, got seven unbelievable very, players. England's got a very good chance. I, I just, I honestly. So you're saying Southgate's overachieved, or he's? No, I think he's. he's I actually think he's right where he's supposed to be. Personally, I think yeah. he's right where he's supposed to be. I think we can't help but want more. And yeah. we watch these players in the Should he win this Euros? I, I, I don't know if he should win it. I, I, I would think... Would that, it be a shame if he did it? 100% be a shame. Mm-hmm. But I think it will be a mm-hmm. shame anyway because of, like I said, this crop of England team, you're like, nah, man, we, when we reel off the names yeah. on paper... They're a good team. So they should win it then? No, but then there's other teams. France, on paper, got a good team. I do, I do think they... Germany, and now... They should be in the top three good, to win. But they should... That's what I'm saying. They should be favourites to win the tournament. That's what I think. So they have to make it to the final at least? It depends, isn't it? There, there could be a lot of... It just... Like, Twists and turns. Yeah. Just, no, I'm just saying like in terms anything. of... If they don't make it to the final, is it disappointing? I think if they don't oh, win it... 100%. If they don't go far in the tournament. If they don't yeah? go far they don't make in the tournament. tournament. I think like anything, right? I think it's like... Man City, Real Madrid, and that could well. be know, because they... he plays two older midfielders. Yeah. <laughs> what, if you, two... what, what, what if you met France as soon as you came out of the group or something? You know what I mean? There's but that's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to judge the, what, what you like expecting so from your country. So do you your, think England's country. the best team ever in, uh, <laughs> in Europe be. right now? Yeah. You think England's yeah. the best team in Europe? That's what I was going to ask. Who, yeah. who are the threats in, in, in these Euros? Well, to be fair, when it comes to it, um, I think France, I think Germany, um, starting to play Portugal. Um, now to play, um, and that's the Spain three. That's the three. Holland, um, Holland, and now starting to play. And look, these are the these but are the still England as a no, no, team. But, but, you, but you see, this is what the thing is. This is what happens, right? Mm. Is every, everybody gets dismissed? Oh no, it doesn't matter. Holland, <sighs> but England still it just gets dismissed. And I don't when I, I again I say yo, Holland look at this really England. Been... Yeah, yeah, they haven't been that great. Yeah. Who? Yeah. Holland haven't been. No, they haven't. Netherlands. I wouldn't put apart uh, everyone else you named. I'll, no, the worst. I'll, the reason why I said the Netherlands is I've, st- I've they've started to rebuild. So I think they won four 0 Is it against Scotland recently? Uh, you're yeah. just throwing in teams so, though. I know but I'm, I'm talking yeah, about yeah, these yeah. teams. These are international teams which are now starting to rebuild. Mm. I get it. England are further, f- further. Yeah, they're much ahead further ahead in the rebuild with the players. So you look at it, but again, tournaments football is still tournament football, and that's when it is. And when it comes to you're knockout right, stages, but England now have experience. No, no, I, no, no. So that these players I, now I, I totally aren't young agree. pups. I totally agree you know in the mean? sense where I think it would be disappointing if England don't go far. Mm. That's where it is. Yeah. Mm. I don't think it's a given 
that oh, definitely England not should go like, win. I think his question was, I if England don't get to the final, is that a big disappointment? Yeah, it 100%. On the, it depends when they get knocked out by a person. The reason why I'm saying this is because That's you go to England other countries France, like France, so if, they, if, will, they will consider that a big disappointment yeah. if they don't make it to... I think you know, England do. Germany. Well. I think England you know, do. But yeah. I think if England got in the last 16 or went and then came up against France and, and then Mbappe, lost in the... and Mbappe turned up, I think it'd be like, oh, England fell short to a team that was better. That's how I just think it would run that way than if England got knocked out to by Croatia. Yeah, of course. Do you know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah, that's how I look yeah. at it in that way. But prior to now, we're like, yo, England, when you look at England's team on paper, but England should go all the way. I think England would still see themselves if, like player for player. They'll probably put themselves above France. 100%. 100%. That's what I'm saying to you. 100%. Mbappe. So that, well, that I, aspect... I, think, I, I get that, but I think the enigma is Mbappe. Like, I think he transcends, like... He, he just puts it to a different spectrum. Like, you think of... Can you think of a player in England showing up in a World Cup final like Mbappe? Did? No, no, no. You ain't got players like that. No, no, I, I completely you, understand. You know, you ain't got players like but that. But you're then just relying on one player. That's what you need. That's bro. how strong yeah, he was. That's how strong he that's was. How, that's what you he need, He almost bro. carried France <laughs> by himself. Yeah. Jeez. If it wasn't to for this the, day! If it wasn't for the GOAT. Oh, yeah, mate, if it weren't yeah, for him, yeah. if it wasn't he just for came him. up to some, <laughs> the some, goal. Um, yeah, bro. Like any other player, psh, that tournament was was France's. That so, was France's. would you say, um, obviously, this this not been this uh, Southgate's been in this position before, where the contract's running down? Would you say it would be safe for him to get another contract? No, I, I, I think no. I think he's got no, United. Yeah, he's, he's got United. Regardless, even he's got United. Regardless, even regardless, regardless, United. Yeah. He's got United. He's got United. Yeah. I heard that he so, might be going Liverpool. So what do you think about that? What for do you what? mean for what? For Would what? you consider him? What do you mean for what? a youth coach? Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so, you, so you're dissing Southgate? So you no, are dissing. I'm just telling what do you mean youth coach? I'm saying he's, he's coming in for your job. Do you rate Southgate? Oh, no, do you rate Southgate no. as a coach? He's coming to your team. Yeah, but not to for Liverpool. Not Why not? So he's all right for Man United, but not Liverpool? 100%. Really? There's different levels to now, man. No, there's different levels. Quote me on that. Put that shit out. So do you think Southgate can get Man United back to the top? I think he can he can be like Arteta. Arte <laughs> <laughs> you, you you couldn't even say his name right because you didn't believe in like, Ortega. 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 <laughs> Ortega. <laughs> he, could, he could be like Ortega because he could be like Arteta. That's like, no, uh, I'm about to say something. Yeah, yeah but I think Southgate like just needs to rip, round it up, man. Just, just do nah, this. Nah, it's stay, man. I think the worst thing is I think if he wins, leave like a hero. Regardless yeah. of what, just yeah. leave. Yeah, yeah, I think regardless. Leave. He, he let leaves. this be. I think he said he's got one year left. Let, let this be the swan song. Last one, there you go. Yeah, yeah man, leave as a hero. Last, hey, bring it home, brother. The bring last it home. dance like clock. Say nothing, man. Yeah, man. Clock and clock. All right, so we're talking about, so the question that was asked, Come, man. is one, Salah man. the best African player to have graced the Premier League? I would say so. Too tough. You went quick. No, it's between him and Jogba. He's gone. It's between him and Drogba, but I think Salah. Yaya Torre is very. Yaya Torre don't jump I think in they're today. still above him, to be honest with you. Yeah. Drogba is above Yaya, and I think Salah, if I'm saying Salah's the one, then they're obviously above him, innit? Yeah, V? <sighs> it's, not as, not as controversial, but. It's also because of Salah's assists, as he offers a I just, lot. Yeah, I, I think Drogba a, is. Salah is. I, just, I think Drogba is, but just pips it, and it's not like as easy as I'm saying it. I just think, not that Salah ain't, but Drogba just showed up in big games, finals, time and time and time and time again. Yeah, Arsenal must have been so we happy super, when he retired. We were super when hurt he by left. They he moved to us, didn't he? What yeah, you moved to us. What about? But, but the crazy thing, Salah's record against Arsenal is probably better than Drogba's. Swear That's down. the crazy thing, yeah. What? What? <laughs> yeah. So I just wanted to get that in. Right, like, you know, know, let me say something to you, and you lot may. I this is a crazy thing, right? Because I think, and I, I see. I think I think um, Hazard said this about football's become very stats based, and football's not really about that. It's about entertainment. It's about flair. It's about excitement. And now all of a all of a sudden now we've just got stats on everything, mm. and that's not how fundamentally football should be played on. Which I, I'm, I kind of agree on that. I agree and not sense. agree because I think stats has always been... No, so, yeah. no, 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 but I, 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 to be fair, I think everything now stats <clears throat> orientated and mm. you break down like, say, it's a computer game. Do you know what I'm saying? And sometimes somebody may not, you know, get the right assist, but the way he brings in players into play, the way he's effectiveness, the way he connects a team together, you can't... For me, you can't quantify that on stats. Do you know what I'm saying? That's just a player that you know 
rather brings out the best of other players. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? So, but I do think at the end of the day, oh, I'm thinking Yaya Toure though, man. Well, man just hit he, that hard. Yeah, I know. Like, I just had to Yaya think Yaya about it. Yaya Toure on his brain yeah. to die. Yaya, do, do you know what it is? Just the way he yeah. just—he was a beast in the Premier League, and just how he made. He, he, I, I, I agree put, with you. But I, I say I think he had two peak. Seasons, seasons. Yeah. levels. Yeah. yeah, they're two above him. But that Yaya was, was a bad boy. Yeah, it was a. Bad was boy. was Drogba? Would you say Drogba was consistent throughout his Premier Premier League? Tenure? It's hard because we I always think. think more present, don't we? We kind of forget a little so bit of how good Drogba really was. Yeah, and what no, is, no, that's, that's what I'm asking. No, no, no. We listen. What, yeah, don't take that. Like, oh yeah, yeah. You're I'm saying about because no, just because of the oh, way we're we're, right we're looking at Salah now. You know what I mean? No, no. We see more Salah. Salah's is crazy. Yeah. And Drogba, Salas. we haven't Salas, seen Drogba for a long time. Salah's stats is crazy. It's like, crazy. Like, even right, this come on. Saying, for seven seasons, to be consistent, 20 goals what have you just got there? above is ridiculous. You're going to change? Stats. He's changing, nah, isn't he? I'm not changing. Are you not, nah, are you going to still man, Drogba? Fucking Drogba, man. Look, I just it? read what he's won in the in the English game, man. Yeah, go on then. Tell Easily me. Drogba, man. Sorry, Salah, man. I love you, but... Okay, go on. Four Premier Leagues, mm -hmm. four FA Cups, mm -hmm. three League Cups, mm -hmm. and a Champions mm -hmm. League. And he was integral in... All oh, of those saying he shows, things um, showed up. Listen, did I? What did before, I say? Before, before. What did you, I say? Before you said, before, I said drug, but yeah, I did say. Before you no, say, no, no, I did, I did say. Before drug, you but. say that, the reason why, like, I actually think Salah is up there in the sense of Premier League greats. Like, yeah, he is. But on a personal note, even before you put the stats in, on a personal note, I not idolize is a strong word, but. I wanted to base my game off Drogba. Mm, like, on a yeah. personal note, mm. Drogba was a <laughs> certified Monster. beast. Yeah. Like, yeah, I'm yeah. talking IV. about... IV, I think you're right. Was know. just a... Like, the worst thing that comes to mind, I remember the goal he scored against Liverpool where he pinned Ga um, Carragher yeah, and spun it. How, and I was like, what the hell? Thierry, yeah. Thierry done that as well. Yeah, yeah, something else. I think Terry is the one, the best He's ever, who graced it. But what Drogba, yeah. Yeah, 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 and that's and the like worst it. thing is I, 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 the, no, that one, one, that one's not, it's not different. No, no, I think, I, I just think look. that on, on a personal it. note, Drogba was. Well, Thierry Henry's so. better, the best. I think Thierry Henry is, is the best. No, I want to hear yeah, from yeah. him. Better than Drogba. Yeah, I think oh, Thierry's yeah. the best. I think he's the best player who's ever hit the Premier League. Thank you. I'm saying. But that's why you can't go on stats because Shearer, Shearer's stats. Oh, shit Shearer's on crazy. Shearer's shits on all of them. Shit's so on wow. that's why you can't just solely go on that. No, you're right. But Jogba, right Jogba. like even listing off them things, but it's even, I didn't even know he won that much. I, that's what I'm saying. I didn't know. That's he why won I was asking you, like, how four long was Premier he? Premier League titles. So he was there for four. ten years. I think I could only remember maybe four. the last wow. season. He came and back his at, first season yeah. were. He came back. He came back as yeah. well, didn't it? Yeah. But he won four. Yeah. I didn't remember. I didn't no, know no, Chelsea no. was running shit like that. Oh yeah, man. yeah, man. yeah, man. And Animal. Oh god. He was into. He was into him. Him upset. and Lampard upset me a load of times. Oh, Ridiculous. Shit. I remember he nutmegged um, some of his goals. <laughs> oh, um, nutmegged Hippie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah man. Like, Listen, oh, he, for me, he's scared. These defenders before you know he his first scared. season when he was raw as well, man. He they was, was ripping oh him. He come for twenty four million or something like that. And I remember the first season. Where did he, he come from? Drop? Marseille. 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 Mm, come from yes. Marseille. Scoring all types of coming off his shins, knee. And the way they were saying because his first touch wasn't all <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah. It was, and they was just saying it was the biggest flop. And then he must have said, yeah. Oh, the goal that he slept against Everton as well, you. man. He, nah, he's just... He, he, he won against Dropper Bolton. for me. Oh, I even remember this, how bad of... it was. Benitez riled him up and he just turned up on Liverpool and celebrated in front of us. Like, even at the time, I was like, why you would you say this? What are you doing? Just... You don't need to unleash any more flipping... Mm, Drogba, you don't need to unleash Drogba. any more monsterism for that individual. Are we all saying Drogba? You said Salah, no? I didn't say that. Oh. The worst thing is, all, all jokes aside, nah, I actually nah. didn't... I did I say Salah, but I didn't say Salah. I didn't, didn't, didn't know he won that much. After thinking about it, I think I didn't know he won that much. But then again, this is what I'm saying. So I guess you know it, it was going back to the Yakubu thing. That's why obviously. We but, oh, but then, yeah, but then I also say Yakubu just and, and I know he was integral. What's he doing? No, no, he's trying I, to get no, some goal or something. What's your club player now? He was integral, Drogba. You got to get the quote. You would say that Chelsea's team. So they didn't really have to rebuild Chelsea's team, correct or not? When he come in. Was was Chelsea still doing bits, or was he there? No, he was part no, of the the he build. Was the build. He was part yeah. of the rebuild. Because when Mourinho came, he so was Chelsea like, didn't, Chelsea didn't win the league the year before Drogba came. 
I don't know, but then I also want to say that. No, I think because Mourinho, he's one of Mourinho's first signings, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah. And I also say there is because that was when Chelsea was buying up everybody. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So I always say you've got to take elements into that, even Man, though like Liverpool, even though Liverpool has, but just to be fair, I'm yeah. But that, if you just go on Drogba alone and how raw he was them times to 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 the player he became, it's just phenomenal. Salah was raw. Man. Salah was very raw. By the time he got to you guys. Salah was raw, man. He still was making. Fun. He still was having four or five chances and only putting in one when he come in. Well, when he come first from first time from Drogba raw, though. Yeah, not not, not raw. In that's that what I'm saying. Not, not as raw as Drogba. That's what I'm saying. Just saying. He went Roma, then he went Florentina, and then and then Liverpool. Then Liverpool. No, he came. It was he came from Roma, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. So and Florentina, he, and he Florentina then Roma. Then yeah, he was good at Roma as well. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm. And, um, yeah, Drogba. but Drogba was still good at Marseille. Drogba, that's what they got him from. He was scoring yeah, yeah, goals. Yeah, 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 but he, but yeah, of course, yeah. it's a different league, but he was yeah. scoring goals when it was a problem. And then, he when he came Kalu. this season, Solomon it was Kalu. like, yeah. Solomon Kalou. When he come true, but... but what well, I would say, because this was Yakubu's quote, innit? I'd, I'd say Salah's easily second second best, by the way, even mm. with Yaya Toure mm-hmm. being there. Mm. But Yakubu's quote was, Salah is not world-class, in my opinion. He's not good with the ball, and majority of his goals are lucky goals. Like, even when I saw this, I was like, this can't be real. Uh, yeah, that's... Like, he must have been drinking when he said it. <laughs> drinking. He be drinking. Pa- yeah, yeah, drinking. Yeah, that's a stupid Nigerian Guinness. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the strong Guinness, yeah. 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 Foreign export. Oh, my God. Like, you can't say Mohamed Salah is the greatest African player in the Premier League. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, they don't, don't, but he said Salah's not world class. That's a Other stupid than Jogba, yeah. none come of them on. else. They, none of them come close to Salah. No other player he's named that comes close to Salah. Yeah. So and, and for me, I, I, like I said, but, but let's let, let, why, let, let, even, even let's just Mane. Put, I love. Let's just yeah, put it this way: in terms of is he saying footballer? You know, sometimes we we kind of misconstrue the the two like in terms of like the stats of that. He, maybe he's just looking at it as like baller for baller in his opinion. Because if he's naming like the no, coaches nah. and Carnu, they're not too far off. As in Salah's a baller. As in baller. Yeah. I'm just saying it's ridiculous. I'm trying to understand. I'm just trying to any of it. I'm trying to understand. I'm trying to understand. It can't be any of it. You can't understand it. I know you're taking it. This guy's drunk. Yeah, yeah. It can't be any of it. Your Kubu man. I don't know what he's on. Yeah, and the worst thing is I don't know. Gave Diaz the other day against Man City. Yeah, but you can't. You can't Salah. He's Salah ridiculous. Is, Salah, yeah, the way ridiculous. Salah technically, which he, I don't think he gets enough props yeah, for, man, the touch. way he plucks that ball on the outside of his left foot over his shoulder from Van Dyke is. Is it better than Morris? Because Morris. I think it is, Mar- you know. That touch? Oh, oh Morris is Mar- 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 No, but that's how Mar- underrated. Mar- right. you know no, 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 no. I think Morris has got the best one, man. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Uh, yeah, that's a whole like, other dis- debate. Maybe right. you don't you don't see it enough. Yeah, it's another debate. Yeah, just right. just I'm just trying to throw some other we'll guys. Throw, in we'll, we'll throw who's got the best touch. We, we'll throw who's got the best touch yeah. in the Premier League. Me or you? You don't even come close. Ooh, Are you, you don't crazy? Come close. Don't you you've got is just pinging a man was, on his chest. You, you don't count. Talking with your you feet, was, bro. You was up and your down. feet. Don't listen. Stop. Stop. Please. You was up and down. Cokes? Million percent. Cokes? Don't be surprised. You're looking surprised. You don't need to do a challenge. No. Left foot, you left foot, right foot. Cokes was an average This is a part of his game. No, no, no. He was an average footballer. No, his best touch was on his chest. He was an average footballer. He was an average footballer. His touch was... He was an average footballer. Very good. I won't fight you. No, no, no. No, I wasn't. I wasn't. He was an average footballer. He was an engine. Guys beat everyone who's played with me. Nobody knows. But I'm saying your touch. I was joking. Your touch is... I saw him score on Sky Sports one time. Me, when yeah, I whipped yeah. it in a stanch. I yeah, see yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> I see that. I saw oh, that. I, oh, I, I, we were in a restaurant down. and stop they down. played it one stop time. Right, stop we see you. No, just... you scored two in that game. No, I scored one. Two, you when, six, six. The 6-6 six, six game. Oh, are you talking about Motherwell? Yeah, well, did yeah, you not score yeah. two? Yeah, yeah but that was the one I was... Bradford. Bradford. That's the one they we had watched. the same sort of kit as well. Oh, that's the sorry. one we watched. That's the other one, one you're trying to pluck out, we yeah, didn't see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we didn't see that one. We saw the one you see. It's an old goal. No, it was an old goal. You made a mistake, but you made it up because oh, you scored yeah. two goals. And your head, this is you scored an OG? No, nah, he gave the ball away. He was such oh, an average. It happens, man. It happens. I was young. But I came back, though. He was trying to run back. He came back strong. He came back. 6-6, no? No, no. I will say it. We were, we were it's five, that a comeback. We were 5 2 down, 5 1 down. Ooh, yeah, Coach, that's a comeback. comeback. Was you playing with just one DM? Yeah. Or did you yeah, two tens. <laughs> <laughs> Two centimeters, two centimeters, box to box, two centimeters. Yeah. Was in the middle. No, no, B's, B's, oh, no, 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 no,
Um, Immaculate. Really, there. really yeah. good. And oh. people might be surprised because obviously the size. I want to take on. You know, I want to take on. You know, I'm really going to call out. I'm going to call out Berbatov. You know. I'm gonna call him out. Yeah, the wicked touch. He had his touch. Can you do that wall business? And I see a couple of that. Cause yeah. I don't know about that, you know. But I'm gonna call him my burps. I'm calling you out, cuz he had like a cushion foot and that sleep. Oh, oh yeah, hey, Berbatov's touch though. Berbatov's I touch. But what's the listen? That's for another day. Who's had the best touch? Yeah, we should Premier do that. Era. We'll have that. But anyway, like we always say, like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good things, and we'll see you next time. Peace and love.